day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. That's a blessing by itself. Oh, you know it. And then the, the other thing, too, I was sitting there looking at, uh, uh, I guess that CNN show last night, that guy named uh, uh, K something. Do you look at CNN? Yes, but um, was it the, uh, well, like one of their CNN specials? Yeah, they had yeah, that special last night. The guy that does the shade of America or something like that. Oh, yeah. Kim, I think it's like Kimani King or yeah. something like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, that guy. Man, uh -huh. I tell you, he did a good piece last night. Um, and, and you can tell that uh, we have a lot of people who, we got a history that I'm hoping, Brother Jackson, one day, just like they did the apartheid, is uh, to be able to go and, how would you say, uh, do some reconciliation or some reviews of uh, uh, what I call bad decisions mm -hmm. or bad uh, bad policies. Right. Uh, let me see here. Okay, I can see you. Good. I got on live too. So we, we, we're live. So right. unlike some people, we, we, we know how to be politically correct. <laughs> hey. yeah, we, got, we got a few people though that they, they probably need some uh, uh, review uh -huh. of, of other editing. But, it, but, I, but based on the show last night, when I was looking at the, the Shade of America, I think it was called. Uh, United was, Shades of America. Huh? United Shades of America. United Shades of America. And I, and I saw this one thing that, brought, that got my attention. He was talking about, you know, some of the, what I call as uh, atrocities. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was the way that apparently some young man was sitting in the park. He he does have some slight mental issues, mm -hmm. but the police officer that shot him shot him fourteen times oh. in the park, and the city said that. Uh, it was a justified, you know, killing. Mm -hmm. And and I, I was sitting there and I, I was saying this, I hope one day, just like Berlin trials, you know, when they when they finally uh, got a hold of the Germany, uh, you know, the war was over, that they, they had some criminal trials, uh, uh, criminal trials of atrocities that occurred during the uh, uh, Hitler's reign, right? <laughs> and, and the whole purpose was that anybody that was uh, done atrocities were uh, uh, trial, you know, they went to a trial and, and, you know, they were either exonerated or they were put in prison. <laughs> and you remember the apartheid, it went through a uh, a series of reconciliations for some past transgressions that occurred during the apartheid. Yes. And my point of saying is that, uh, and and this is something for anybody that that would listen to us, even on this live presentation or recording of it thereafter, is uh, some of the justified killings. Uh, probably need one day to both go through some type of review, mm -hmm. uh, legal review, by a competent panel, right? And right. and those type of things where, okay, you, you was in, a, the guy was in a park, middle of a park, right? Sitting on a bench. Mm -hmm. And uh, the review is, you say it's justified and, and, and maybe it was rightly so justified. But what we want to know is, was it justified after the first shot, the second shot, the third shot, the fourth shot, the fifth shot, 
because we are talking about in a park, right. in the open. Mm-hmm. When, when did it become unjustified? When, when did when, when did fourteen? I want I want to know when is it legal to shoot somebody fourteen times? Right, right. You know what I mean? Yes. Because you you basically there's a beyond um, what we call justifiable or reasonable. Right. If, if if a person has to be continue to be a threat with fourteen shots, mm-hmm. you know, because even in even in the military, you know, the rules of engagement, you know, once you have subdued something, <laughs> you know, you now become responsible. Mm-hmm. For a prisoner, mm-hmm. right? Right. So, right. so those are the type of things that uh, I believe one day will go through reviews to to say, well, we need to review your justifiable. You said this is justifiable. You, the prosecutor, said this was. We need to review you too because that that there's obviously your thought process requires very little. Uh, uh, to to make a wise decision. Right. It, it, as far as your concern is, I just need an excuse mm-hmm. to, to to commit atrocity, you know, to kill somebody. Um, we even showed one that night where this guy had seven police officers. He was a white guy, and he was upset for something. I don't know what, but they wrestled him on the floor. Uh, he actually grabbed one of the guns, shot one of the guns, mm-hmm. and he still survived and was arrested. It was, and then when they, on top of that, uh, they said he he was uh, got a misdemeanor or something, mm-hmm. and was released from, you know, custody. <laughs> from custody. Uh, he may have been, he may have been charged or something, but it was very small <laughs> disorderly conduct or something like that, you know. Right, right. But but eventually he was released from uh, from custody, and and we just saw something happen in uh, with Wendy's or something with a guy, and he was killed by because uh, he grabbed a taser. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. But but these people. Seven cops. They wrestled him, and he's he fired their gun. And you know that's if that was the if that was a different person. If that was a, if that was a you know black person, uh, they would have they would have loaded them. Uh-huh. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How about the kid that killed the uh, the church atrocity? You know the one that happened in Charlotte's, I think it was not Charlotte, but uh, South Carolina, North Carolina. And uh, they arrested him, and on the way to the to the jail, they stopped by Burger King and drove us to eat. Mm-hmm. Now, it, it just it doesn't take much of a, a mind or a genius to, to realize that something's wrong with this picture. Mm-hmm. Uh, that yeah. you 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 do these things, but you don't see. We can't say you don't see what was. What what the guy Shane the great Shane of Mark was saying is that it was you was actually looking at this guy's life mattered. The benefit of his I'm talking about the white people that did the atrocities, they mattered enough that you gave them the benefit of the doubt and didn't have didn't kill them. Mm-hmm. Just brought them into custody. Mm-hmm. Where you take a, a minority, it you you feel you just need a small justification and you kill them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Those are yeah. the type of things I think that, you know, when you're talking about with Chris and them, when they get upset and angry, it's like, look at this. You uh, you see it wrong. And you and you trying to figure out why, how long you don't get angry with it. And then I think the I think the point is though is that you can't you can either be angry or you can look at it and say one day, legally, some of these things can be reviewed once once you once the 
people that when the policies can review, the people can review the the uh, what do you call it, said, Brother Jackson? Probably when a new when 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 society is ready to to address wrongdoing, maybe reconciliations. Uh, reconciliations. I think I think I think some kind of reconciliation, some type of review. I think like right now with the Black Lives Matter. Right. The one of the policy would be is to review some of these atrocities uh, as part of reconciliation. You know, take it to a federal level. You know, especially and say, hey, there's some how do you call it? Like your civil rights were violated. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Uh, right. So the state, because the state was, it's a state crime, but there are federal crimes too that can then can review something that uh, that the local level didn't want to review, and, and sometimes that has happened already in some cases. Mm -hmm. But it took it to the to to the federal level, or sometimes states like that Aubrey. That's another good example. The local level, remember that they weren't gonna, they weren't gonna try that. Those people, right? And then, yeah, um, in that situation, they need to look at it all the way up, you know, up to through the DA, because obviously the DA had something to do with it, you know. Yeah. yeah. Who was talking about which one? The the DA guy didn't. Are you talking about the, 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 the one? The, the, yeah, the you know, Aubrey, you know, the, the, that was jogging you're talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you know you figured that they had that information and didn't do anything with it. You know, it also held on to the uh, the tape and the video yeah. recording and all of that. So uh, you know, hey, I don't know where that was going to happen. Before we get started officially, let me go ahead and get the uh, my my wine and and uh, everything because I gotta I gotta leave early. Okay, yeah. Brother Jackson, I was talking. He's going to get this uh, communion stuff. Uh, we were talking the gray shade of America was on last night. I think it's called Shade, U.S. Shade, so you know what it is, that, that one where CNN. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we was talking about the, uh, how, how you know, he, he was bringing up some of those cases that, you know, we've been talking about where uh, this one guy was shot 14 times in a, in a park, right? And, and they uh, said it was justifiable killing. Mm -hmm. And and I said that maybe one day there's going to be a uh, a legal review at maybe the federal level of uh, atrocity. I call it, just want to call them atrocities because <laughs> a legal review or panel, just like uh, after the, the World War World War Two, remember they brought those before before you go the uh, Facebook. Is the camera sideways? Oh, it I just is. Just got a text message. <laughs> okay. I, I told. I, I was sitting there looking at that thing. I said maybe I can get it. I had a sideways. I can look at it sideways. I get a bigger view. But let me see how I can get it. Okay. Well, we got it that way. That's probably the best I can get. With the. You see it? I'm just texting him. It was, it's uh, Sherman Elliott. <clears throat> okay. Hey, but anyway, the, um, you know what, World War II, they had some Geneva trials uh -huh. dealing with atrocities. Yes. Yeah. So, so uh, the, the, at the time when Germany was doing what they were doing, it was legal for Germany to do what they did, the atrocities that they did. But the Geneva Convention or whatever those trials were, that was another level that reviewed crimes, war crimes. And and I, we was talking about this one kid was uh, sitting at a park bench. Uh, in one of one of the cases he brought up, and he they they ruled that he was mentally ill or something mm -hmm. uh, to a degree, and it was a justifiable killing where the guy shot the man four times in the middle of the day for, I guess, his mental instability. For non-compliance. For non-compliance. And for 14 shots, 
I, you see the review for me I'm saying is one day I think it's gonna I think one day it's gonna happen it's well, gonna be um, when, when you say that you gotta look at uh, reparations has it happened yeah no 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 so therefore these crimes that are be being committed against people of color are designed by uh, there, there's a design in our judicial system yeah to allow the execution of them. so when like when I always say you know people talk about the the, the police and the yeah. police brutality and the police in, in justice Right. It's, it's far greater than that because our judicial system right. is saying that it's okay. Yes. They're saying that the murder of of people of color, black black people, uh, mainly, is okay by the police. Because the same evidence to incarcerate and actually less right. to incarcerate a person of color and it is 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 being put across as not it's not good enough evidence for to prosecute a uh, a police officer right. so if you got a video yeah showing the murder recorded yeah Sound the according murder to of 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 people of color, and the video is not good enough. But if you have a video of a person breaking in to a building, that's good enough. Yeah. If there's a video of somebody speeding, that's good enough. Right. You know, so it's our court system, our, our judicial system, that is the entire thing is corrupt. You know, the yeah. cops work for the judge. Right. Well, and the point I'm saying is that that's what I'm saying that just like it was, it's sometimes sometimes at state level anyway. My point I'm saying is that there could be, and I'm, I'm saying it will be one day where those things. Especially recordings, things that were recorded, and, and and or the fourteen shots, right? That one day those things there could be legal reviews against the system because the system has done some atrocities, right? Well, if they do anything against the system, that means that every person that's incarcerated <laughs> is supposed to be released. We we'll, we'll need to be reviewed anyway. I'm saying well, that, I don't think they would be no different than a corrupt judge. Right. I mean, a, a corrupt lawyer. Yeah. They go back and they release, you know, all of the uh, of the people that they put in prison. Yeah. Well, another thing too they could do is review the uh, a panel, a legal panel, given in power to review the sentence scene of people, right? Because you can do that too. You like if it's an unjust sentence. This yeah. or extreme, you know, like if you get somebody gave them 50 years for a crime that warrants only two, you know, that a panel could review that. I'm just saying it's going to have to be some kind of way, just like they did in South Africa. Uh, they went through some panels. Well, one day, one day that that doesn't mean it can't happen. I'm not saying it's not going to happen now. It can happen. And I'll I think just, I'll I think, just say that it can, right. it can happen. Because it's documented, right? Something uh, documented can be reviewed again uh, in time for crimes that we know that exist. We know people like Cohen. Matter of fact, I'll give you an example. Remember the guy who was released from uh, prison that was Cohen, the guy that uh, Michael Cohen. Yeah, but they put that that joke was released because of the. Uh, like a lot of other people because of the COVID-19 mm -hmm. thing. Right. And, and and because he was going to write a book, the justice system, the, the Department of Justice decided to put him back in jail. 
Well, that was because he 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 broke the rules. Their rules. Their rules for being released. Exactly. And he so he sued. was supposed to be house arrest. Yeah. And this dude is downtown partying. Hanging no, out I thought, in, I thought, I in think, restaurants and, and clubs and stuff, and that's why they put him back in there. Well, the judge said that you know he, he's back out again, Cohen, because he was he. They said he was sent to prison because of retaliation, because they told him he couldn't write the book, and he said he's gonna write the book. We talking about Cohen, you know they, you know who I'm talking about, right? Yeah, his yeah. lawyer. Yeah, they they he won the case. He's out again. Because How could he be out for the crimes if 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 if, uh, if the president didn't pardon him, which no, you know that ain't gonna happen. No, what they did was they put some people out because of the COVID nineteen. Yeah, they released some of the nonviolent offenders. Yes, and he was one of those that was released to home arrest, and yes. they tried to put him back in prison because he was gonna write a book. You know, while he's at home. He's going to do a tell-all book, and they just the judge released him because he successfully sued that he was being imprisoned for retaliation. Oh, put back. Yeah. Well, I I I, I must have missed that. Yeah. But I do know when they they let him out because of uh, COVID nineteen, and he was supposed to be at home. That yeah, I was aware he of. was he was. He was out, you know, in the public, not not in his house. He I was, was out aware of just, that because the judge, they, the old judge, ordered him back out because he was put in because he was writing a book, a tell-all book, and he was going to get that get that book published before the election. Is what I what I got on there right now. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But anyway. I got that. I got it, but those are everything I think we need to keep in mind that can happen, and should happen, and probably will happen one day, of uh, some legal review of sentences and killings at a panel that's been empowered to do so. And I, and I think I've, I'm saying it, it, it may not be today, it won't be today, it won't be tomorrow, but one day there will be legal reviews of atrocities because they are I think I, I, I am very encouraged about the uh, the Black Lives Matter movement you're seeing some types of policies being changed and implemented you know across the country uh, you see them being labeled and and called out as a hate group as a terrorist group I see, I, I, I see them trying to get more traction with that I seen the I seen that I see right there's a part of the justice system that's trying to do that, but I also see uh, like with industries like you see with the uh, the baseball season opening up, and you know they taking the knee, right? Yeah, yes. I, I, I see. That's the, not enough. It's, it's, it's no, no. It's, it, you know, you take each victory at a time, but keep taking them. Uh, the names are changed. It's like the Washington football team opposed to the you know Washington Redskins uh, name being changed uh, even the peaceful protests even writing Black Lives Matter on the street in Washington DC and as well as New York uh, there's this those changes they trying to do uh, uh, the bill right there's some kind of crime bill some kind of bill that was trying to do uh, in Congress to address the uh, thing that happened to Floyd, George Floyd. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm saying is that there's progress being made, and and there's some things going to take time because we, you know, you're not going to get it all at once, but you're getting them. There's some things shifting toward the to the right, and 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 and, and, and I call it the lane of justice, opposed to the left. Uh, you agree with? It. I agree. The administration is trying to do. Hey, I'm gonna paint this as a bad thing. This movement, right? It's the Black Lives Matter. You know, you have one person trying to say it's a bad thing, but I'm seeing the, the bigger community, as well as the world community, is saying people's lives matter. 
you know, Black Lives Matter. <clears throat> so there's, there's some changes happening, is yeah. all I'm saying. My biggest thing, one thing that I, I find amusing is what I'm starting to see when people are talking about all lives matter. And then they say, well, why won't you wear a mask? Oh, yeah, that's you another know? one, ain't it? Well, all lives matter. Why aren't you wearing a mask? So that 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 sums it up right there. Ooh. You know, that's that's such that's such selfishness, Ooh, you know, and such yeah. self, you know, self pride or whatever you want to call it. Wow. You know, these people don't want to, you know, they want to talk about all lives matter. Yeah. You know, and that's then a good do that. No different than uh, uh, abortions. Yeah. You know, or or things of that nature but um that's a it's, good one. it's uh I, I i'm i'm looking back at did the romans have to go through that you know they were possible i mean they were they were they weren't they weren't called crimes that were committed you know on on uh <clears throat> other nationalities right you know they just did what they want and they killed who they want at will and, and everything and it's the same well, they tried. in the united they, states they tried the you arenas know. and all the other stuff they tried well i mean the, the 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 romans i mean their government reached out you know you you had uh you had caesar and then you had all these different hierarchies and these right. people below him you know had the the uh the uh, permission yeah to kill at will right you know that they, they, they had they had you know life and death thumb up thumb down right uh and so a lot of that stuff was just to control well you know you're right they, the masses, they, i don't think and, any panel ever happened to them uh they just diminished in their empire right yeah, they, uh, the only the only fact, it was their internal corruption. Yeah, that brought them down, yeah, which is the same thing that's happening to the United States. Yeah, you know, it's it's the the leadership and 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 the function of it has been so corrupted, so misused, misguided, and so overlooked. Yeah, and the love of money. Yeah, which we know is the root of all evil has right. become the main focus of our government yeah even it, look at it that, has I'll, nothing to do point. with with uh with with providing guidance and protection yeah and commonwealth and the the, the pursuit of happiness has just taken place i mean have been uh removed that the priority of them have been just wiped away with get as rich as you can by any means necessary you know as long as you can get away with it yeah it doesn't matter it's, it's no longer by the people for the people that, that yeah. that's gone that is that you 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 cannot say that that is 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 happening. That that just doesn't exist anymore. Mm. When the majority of people ask for gun control, and a hundred people control, you know, it, say no, and so it doesn't happen. So right. it's no longer by the people for the people. Yeah. You know when when when. Uh, I don't know how many governors or whatever that are are, are far right. They want to open up schools, yeah, and have no no sense of concern concern yeah. for the lives of these children, the lives of the teachers, the lives of those in in the front lines in the medical field. None, none, no regard. Hey, don't forget that because the love of money. Yeah. Yeah. They're they're willing to put that put these lives at stake. Money. 
Yeah. I mean, it, it is, if, if people can't see that, I mean, the Bible is really being proven in these days. Yeah. Hey, did you, matter of fact, the, uh, I think the same thing with not taking into consideration the bus driver. In other words, now people are starting to realize the complexity of this thing. You're yeah. talking about the cafeteria, right? You're talking about the bus drivers, you're talking about the janitors, the whole infrastructure to 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 make that system work. The yeah. the other part is uh, they're not thinking about the implications of what we've already done where people, you know, where the spikings have occurred across the country with reopening, they try to reopen things, but you see a response though, yeah. I'm saying this you know, the, right now you got Texas is like out of control California is trying to bring things back in control, but they also, yeah, they're making they're, they're making, yeah at least they, at least they recognize they did, and, <laughs> and you know they, they gave, they gave to to pressure, they gave way to pressure for the economy, and but they they, they, they tried to do it in a responsible way. But they, they tried, also yeah. realized that there is a correction that needs to take place, and just like they were the first to to close, they're yeah. the first to reclose. Yeah, you know, and so at least they do. It does seem like they have a uh, a a care they for do. the community. Well, I think they tried to. Uh, don't, don't forget, Florida's trying to reconsider, even in, in the midst of their capacity already been exceeded. They still talk about reviewing, opening the bars up again. Yeah, uh, they're, 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 they're doing the total opposite. And see, no different than Georgia is a, uh, uh, a test site for yeah. reopening. Yeah. Florida is another test site for staying open. Yeah. So how many, how many will will actually die so we can say not all not everybody died death seems to be at no no have no cost for this administration you don't hear them say nothing about the four million people who have died four million plus have died from this invisible uh, the, uh, yeah, uh, and, and you're talking to mass graves, right? All over the world is what you're talking about. Well, I'm talking about just in the United States. But well, the United States is what 145,000 so far have died. I thought it. I thought it was was. You're talking was, you're confusing cases opposed to death. There's about four million cases, but death is 140 some thousand. Okay, well maybe 000. maybe I'm confused. But, but it's still but, it's still bad. It's, it's, still bad. it's, it's bad. It's bad, and, and it's it's bad to the point of if this happened to a a country just by itself, the United States will send millions, billions of aid right for that country, but will not do it for its own. Well, the other thing too, we see having uh, those PPEs, personal protection equipment. Yeah, PPEs. We still have a shortage of that. Uh, yeah. People reusing their masks. It's, it's been bags. months and 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 they can't even get the test, the, 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 the products for the testing down. It's, it, it, they do not care. It's like they're trying to thin out society Either, if you yes, can't stop them from voting we'll just let them die off and then maybe whatever's left will be good enough to to vote our way or something i don't know what's going on um but it's like we're going to suppress the vote by any means necessary. i know it so when we can win to the fact that we're gonna allow these people to die so see, that no a, one can go out and vote and then though i vote by absentee ballot through the mail it's corrupt because it's corrupt for everyone else to do it right i think that somebody did a ruling on that saying that you have to do it because it's just too dangerous for the elderly 
you know, the I, I, haven't, Golden I haven't heard anything like that. that yeah, I heard some came out. All I hear is that there, there, there is a deal that's out there that is uh, supposed to secure the right to vote. Yeah. By mail, and it's sitting on Mitch McConnell's desk along with hundreds, hundreds of other bills to support society's efforts into living in this free world. And he's just, he just will not bring them forward. Well, that, and, I, I think it's some others that's doing that. There are some, definitely some uh, uh, court rulings I heard recently that's gonna allow that. It, Cause that's at the state level anyway, for the voting anyway. You know, and some of the states have already, some of the Supreme Courts at the state level of saying, you know, you will allow people to vote by mail because it's just too dangerous. Yeah. And and right now, I think we're projected by October up to 200,000 people. You know, it, somewhere along the line, it's going to click. It's, it's clicking, and you know, like you say, something is wrong. But with that in mind though it's time we got a forum you know when two or three are gathered his name and we got brother jack what time you got to leave brother jacks i'm supposed to be leaving at nine o'clock brother <laughs> at nine good lord yeah, cool. yeah i got it because we uh yeah the, the speak you know based on the situation we can't get together and practice like we normally would for uh the, you know the program so we kind of come together and they, uh, it's like a staggered thing. You get there at your time, and then the next person, and that way we can keep the social distancing stuff, you know. Oh, so, you gonna physically go there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, let, yeah. let's pray and let's get. I want to get. Let's let's start off with some word, and then you know when you leave, we'll just be, we'll just keep going. Yeah, and um, I'll check it out on the on the YouTube. You know. Okay. Cause we live. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead and pray us in for your mind.